Hello, my name is Joaquin Cochero and I'm a researcher working at the University of La Plata in Argentina. Well, I was very young, I was only six years old, so I didn't quite understand everything that was going on. But I do remember being on the couch with my parents watching it on TV. Well, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to become, but I knew I wanted to be someone that could help make a difference. And I got into science because of this. Now, I don't know if this ever came true, but I do know that I am still trying every day to make a difference. In a peer, we want to break the wall that exists between scientists and the general population so that everyone can get involved in our scientific projects no matter their background in science, no matter their age, their race, or their gender. What is the challenge your project addresses and what is the solution? Human development can be a serious threat to our freshwater environments, such as our rivers, streams, and our lakes. The growth in urbanization can cause water pollution and the destruction of freshwater habitats where many important species live. In a peer, we want to develop tools that connect the research of professional scientists with everyone else so that anyone can learn and help be part of the preservation of these important locations. Through our mobile app, anyone can be a scientist. You can help monitor a stream near your house, you can collect data from another location when you go on a trip, and you can share it openly and freely with everyone else to collectively build a map that shows the health of our freshwater environments. And if you're a teacher, you can use our educational resources in your classroom to teach about the importance of these environments by engaging your students with games and directly building knowledge within a scientific project. Okay, by involving people in scientific projects, working side by side with professional researchers to collect data, to analyze it and to come up with new, fresh, exciting ideas, has a lot of positive outcomes. Citizens are not bystanders of the scientific method anymore, and science is no longer a mysterious process only for a few. Through citizen participation, a more inclusive, a more transparent, and actually better quality science is made. Okay, so different schools are using the Appear digital app or educational resources that can be downloaded and printed from our website to teach about freshwater environments. These tools are not only learning tools, they are also participation tools. In the APPEAR project, around 400 citizen scientists have already participated, adding data about rivers, about streams and lakes from Argentina, and collectively building the APPEAR map with valuable information about these threatened environments. Every tool used in the APPEAR project and all information collected by our citizen scientists is open and free to be used by environmental managers, by policy makers or by educational centers. This will lead to a better understanding of our ecosystems with a society more engaged in their preservation. Although our project is already showing exciting outcomes, we still have a long way to go. What new tools can we build to make everyone participate in more tasks in the project? And how does the information we have, thanks to our citizen scientists, actually translate into a more protective environmental policy? I have no idea. Why don't we ask her? Esto es magnífico y yo estoy orgullosa. Thank you, Mom.